it's the first ever Blaze Festival. Um, so it's a completely youth-led festival all weekend and we've got all sorts, you name it, we've got it. I think we've really come together over the last few days in preparation for it and it's just going to be great. It is going to be great. It's so lucky that it's got the hottest day of the summer. It's been really good. There's so many people here and everyone seems to be enjoying themselves. It's just brilliant. When I arrived on Friday and saw the site, I was blown away. I was like, we, we did it. A team of under 25 year olds managed to put on a massive festival, which is a hit. We're creating something that's not been done before. We're saying we're our own stuff, we're going to make our own stuff and here we are. We've worked on this since March and um, it's finally here. We've got um, our three um, stages, our three tents set up. There are so many different aspects to it. But one of the main themes that kind of runs through it is getting young people involved, doing things that you probably wouldn't normally do, gaining experience, whether it's through performing or through organising. We've got this project called Fashion Off and Move Off, which is a fusion of fashion with dance. We've got Kid British, the natives, the colours. We had an acoustic stage as well. Working with a group called Punchline, who are doing a sort of fusion of boxing and art and dance. Handbag is Geraldine Pilgrim, so you dance around handbag. We've got really cool theatre things like Maradoc Mai. Asadia are a group, it's like a theatre group, they come over from Barcelona. They do really cool hair and they put it all up in weird colours and hang things off it and it is really bizarre. Street Quest is a live adventure on the streets of Preston where you travel through time. We've all watched that through, we've always wanted to be in it so here's a chance. We have the Urban Culture Jam. The Urban Culture Jam is a mix between all urban sports, skateboarding, free running, BMXing, but the uh, graffiti, there's dancing, street dancing. In the tent, there's live bands. Coming the other day and seeing the tent up, and I just thought, oh, it's going to be really good. And the Boom Bike Band are a project that have come out of Blaze. We've got them riding around and making like making the space their own. And they're going to be performing alongside Riot Jazz and uh, smaller projects like Get Up Stand Up. This weekend has been absolutely incredible. I mean, it's been crazy and um, there's been so much to do, but I just I, mean, I loved every minute of it. Everyone's worked really well as a team over the past year and to bring this to life. It's been brilliant this weekend. I've been trying to get people to be tweeting and looking at the app and getting involved and trying to get them into the venues and it's been really good fun. I came yesterday and I'm back again today because it's really such a lot to do and see and so innovative. I've never seen some of the things that I've seen here. Blaze is great because it creates opportunities for everyone to have a say, do something fun. It's an absolutely fantastic idea to get young people involved uh, in something, show the creative side. I think it's brilliant. I mean, at the moment I'm writing personal statements for university and just the sheer amount of things I can put on just through Blaze, it's absolutely amazing. I mean, what can I put on the CV? I'm a producer for a festival, which is part of the We Play Expo, part of Preston Guild, part of the Cultural Olympiads. You can't get out elsewhere, it's once in a lifetime. I think Blaze shouldn't be something that just stops after three years because it's been so amazing. We've engaged so many people and young people like myself have really learned and developed our skills. Because now we can say we put on Blaze Festival, we made this happen. I'm sad it's over, but I'm really grateful to be part of it and hope we can do it all again next year. <laughs>